match against a fighter with perhaps more power than Velez could give him a problem. We are in the round five. Mickey Ward and Jesus Velez, and see what Dave, score, Dave Von Temple's scorecard has to say. So far, we have Mickey Ward hurling a shutout. Mm. Four nothing. <laughs> okay. And that replay shows why he got hit with that punch, too. The left was extended far too much as he reached for a target that was not there, and Velez answered. There have been so many fighters in the history of this series over the last five and a half years that we've watched, like Mickey Ward, in, the, in their initial stages of development. And you, we literally get to see them develop as a fighter from their embryonic stages as a pro hopefully to something better and you can see Ward every time out being confronted with different situations it's really a skillful management too to get him against different styles that will bring out a different purpose each fight and I'll tell you we've had our share in the last five or six months of fighters that people thought they were bringing along and they would face somebody who brought them down we've had so many upsets in the last five or six months of fighters who people thought were really on their way. Mickey Ward backing Velez against the ropes. That's where Velez has spent much of this fight. And sometimes his only effective part of the fight has been in the counter-punching situations. Velez holding and hitting, and Tony Orlando with another warning to him. Velez may feel like he had one coming because Ward did that to him in the last round. This is the kind of fight that I think in referee school they probably have you go to one or, or call one like this just to see if you're ready. It's about everything that could confront a referee has confronted Tony Orlando on this one. Take on the, the hot dogging, take on the low blows, the holding. Hey, where was it? That was four jabs by Ward. He didn't land any, but he threw some. And that punch has just been a mothball for him. It's a good punch even when you don't land it because yeah. you make your opponent react to it. And Mickey Ward has a good jab, too. Well, we're headed toward the end of the fifth round in what we have to say in all candor has not been the most artistic or pleasing fight we've ever had on top rank boxing. We head toward the end of the fifth round, and sixth and final round is upcoming. Well, they took the round away from Velez for this little <laughs> in-close activity. I would say, I gotta take away what he doesn't have. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Well, as holding and hitting in every sense of the word in the fifth round, we are into the sixth. Now, in, in fairness to him, Ward did that the round before, but uh, certainly more of the holding in this fight has been from Velez. We're into the sixth and final round. I almost want to say mercifully, but I don't like to be so flip. Um, it's been a tough fight for Mickey Ward to wage because Velez is holding and... Uh, and Bella's really hasn't done that much offensively, so it's been a, a tough fight for Mickey Ward. I think there are points where he could have made it easier for himself, though. If he had gotten inside without taking too much punishment and really gone to the body more, I think he could have slowed up Velez's ability to hold him. So far, it looks like Velez has just fought to survive so he can come back and fight again. But off this... This was a big chance for him. Well, it really was. And, you know, we're, we're being a little flip, but the fact of the matter is, uh, if you perform this way in a fight where you get some exposure, it's very tough to uh, be asked back to the dance again. We're in the sixth and final round of our opening fight of Top Rank Boxing. Remember, you will be seeing very soon, as a matter of fact, our main event, Buddy McGirt. Taking on Joey Farrell, McGirt, 22-0-1. Joey Farrell, 10-2-1, but amongst those 10 victories, a couple of big wins over Mike Munchen and Greg Edelman. Right hook by Ward from the southpaw stance. He's got the legs in trouble. He staggers down. It's a knockdown. He was up quickly. Gets the mandatory eight count. He should be able to end this. Right hand, Velez is out. And Tony Orlando stops 
the action immediately, as he should. No count. He just says, stay down. The doctor will talk to you. And Mickey Ward wins on a knockout here in the sixth round over that man, Jesus Velez, who we hope will be okay. He's talking to the doctor there. And for Mickey Ward, the key came when he switched to southpaw again. It worked for him this time. The right hand coming up from the side. Velez not ready for it. First, it started the knockdown. And then it punctuated any doubt in this fight. He ended it with that nice right Dr. Doggett trying to keep Jesus Velez down. Velez wants to get up, and they keep telling him to stay down. Well, they want to take every precaution, of course, to protect the fighter here. And uh, Dr. Doggett saying, listen to me. Well, for Mickey Ward, uh, a good performance, despite the fact that it was awkward early, he did get the job done. He'll take something with him as we go back. He's in the southpaw stance. Perfectly thrown, right hand coming across. Now Veloz is staggered. Ward with another one over the top. Looking for one more, comes over the left. He's always throwing, even if they're not landing. And they take their toll. Actually, the left puts him down. The killer instinct comes right in. No time for Velez to think here. Right behind the left hand, which distracted him. And it's all over. And look at Tony Orlando quickly get in to help the fighter even before he went down. Instantly. Now, look at the value of that left hand as a distraction tool just before the right came in behind it. It distracted Velez just for that split second. The right came in on the button perfectly behind it. All right. Beautiful pictures. And uh, for that man, Mickey Ward, a beautiful ending. Let's go up to Michael Buffer, the center of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 2.02 of the sixth round, the winner by knockout victory, his fourth knockout, his fifth victory in a row, still undefeated, Mickey Ward! Mickey Ward stays undefeated. He is 5-0. Straight ahead on Top Rank Boxing.